How's it going everyone? All with Pokemon TCG here, bringing you guys a Horde update as we have what is looking to be a brand new item coming to Walmart and I believe people have found it at Toys R Us. But before we get into that, I have three single packs here, two Flashfire packs I found at Target, and a Next Destinies pack that Rick traded us. Um, he had, if you guys watched the first Horde, he gave us a pack for there too, so we got that. And we also got this Japanese um, Zygarde promo pack or whatever. It has two, uh, like, Steam Siege in Japanese. They're actually different sets in Japan. Um, two separate sets. So we got a pack of each of those. And then a CP5 pack, which is our only pack so far for that in the Horde. Which comes with, it has, like, the mythical promos in it. And um, it has a Magirna one in it, which is really cool. And then it has the shiny... Um, Eveltal and Xerneas EXs that we got in tins and then you can see the Hoopa there on the front It had and the Rayquaza in the top left. It has Hoopa, Rayquaza, and the Latios um, EXs from the tins. So we'll have this to open along with the three packs. I will set that aside. And now you're probably wondering what these are. These are popping up places actually just yesterday. I've seen people start talking about them. They're called Mystery Power Boxes. So there's five packs in here. They're $25 at Walmart or, Toy or Toys R Us so far. No word on if they're at Target. I haven't seen them there. But we it says, look for vintage mystery packs seated one in 50 boxes. So I'm not sure what packs are in here. You can actually see one pack, which is Furious Fists. And this one has breakthrough on it so we know that pack and then I guess there's four other packs and we have a one in 50 chance I guess of getting one of these older packs I'm not sure if by vintage it means like Stormfront and Call of Legends I'm not sure if they're considering those vintage but we're gonna open the boxes but we aren't going to open the packs the packs are obviously going to be for the horde this is a horde update so we're gonna open the boxes so you guys can kinda tell what kind of packs are in here so you know if you want to buy them or not um, I actually left two there. Now, normally I would just buy them all, but these seem kind of sketchy to me. They aren't, like, official, so I don't know. I, I'm not sure if I'm trusting it yet. I know people have gotten some um, great boxes with, like, those pin, uh, the pin collections or whatever they're called, um, which aren't official stuff, but people have been pulling some pretty awesome stuff out of it. So I'm not saying all unofficial stuff is bad, but that's what we're here to find out if this is a bad one or not meaning if it's like if it's all going to be new packs or if there's going to be like black and white series in here and they consider them newer or if i, I don't really know what to expect but i didn't want to buy all four and spend a hundred dollars if we don't like the first two so if i if we like the first two and they give us good stuff then we'll go back and get the other two but i think it comes with coins too it says five booster packs and two coins in every box so let's just open these things and see what's inside not really going to do it any special way looks like we got five packs here so before we look at the packs if we can let's see uh pretty sure it said two coins oh the other one's right here eh. so the two coins are both pikachu which sucks because i have so many of those so let's take a look at the packs Ooh, different different i like it i like it oh nice so we got two of them two legendary treasures packs a Phantom Forces and a Breakthrough. So no, I'm not calling Legendary Treasures Vintage. So no Vintage pack in this box. And this one really just doesn't want to come out. Oh, it's like taped to the thing. It's glued or something. Eh. Okay, well, good enough. So honestly, I like that box. I would pay $25 for another one because Legendary Treasures are not cheap. <laughs> and Phantom Forces you can't really buy anymore. So... I don't know, I, if we get the same kind of thing, like maybe there's two black and white series in every box, or maybe we just kind of got lucky, but let's see uh, if we can get out the coins first. Where's the other coin? Oh gosh. Oh well, let's just take a look. So there's the other coin. So it looks like we got the kind of the same thing. We got a breakthrough, a primal clash, two legendary treasures, and then the breakthrough on the front here. So, I mean, I'm kind of digging it. I like Legendary Treasures, and we don't have any for the Horde yet. So, maybe uh, maybe if those boxes are still there for my next paycheck, um, I'll go back and grab them. But I don't think I'm going to go back and grab them right away. It wasn't anything, like, outstanding. But we got two Legendary Treasures, a Breakthrough, a Primal Clash, a Furious Fists, 
two more legendary treasures, Phantom Forces, and two more breakthrough. We, I don't know. If, I don't think we have a breakthrough box, booster box. Oh wait, we didn't check our other coins. I'm pretty sure. Oh, hello. We got a Genesect one that's purple. I wonder where that one comes from. But our other one is just another Pikachu. But I like this coin. I don't think I have that one. So that's pretty neat. But um, so we got four legendary treasures, three breakthrough, Phantom Forces, Furious Fist, and Primal Clash, along with our two Flash Fire and Next Destinies, and the few Japanese packs for this horde update. Hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing what's inside of these boxes. If Hopefully it helps you guys decide whether you want to go and pick them up or not. Not sure if all of them come with legendary treasures like that, or if it's just a coincidence that our two did. I honestly am just not sure. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and I will catch you guys in the next one.